Okay, Murray. We need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back into climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, sumo slap, duck and cover, super sling, and whack a choke. Does it matter? Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises, but they are Murray approved, so let's get started. <laughs> Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm gonna pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Keep shifting your weight. That's using your balance. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed, and not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Oh yeah! Swing for the fences! Oh, 
language would get irritable. A true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win. Make those penguins fly. Take your time, but not too much time. Concentrate on the target. This just takes a little practice. When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But like without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. If you can dodge a penguin, you can dodge anything. Figure out where those birds are going, then get out of the way! Good going, Bob! That's how you focus! fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. <laughs> During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power! Let him back you up! Come on, move that big 
Sunburn! That's using your strength, champ! Bob, you've got what it takes! You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together! Everything at once! Sort of like a triple-decker pizza! You know what you gotta do! Now make the Murray proud!
Okay, Murray, this is the place. My readings show the temporal sprocket is somewhere in that cliff area. You'll need to climb that rock wall to reach it. But first, it looks like you're gonna have to clear out that crowd of guards. No problem! I'll use the beatdown I'm about to give those chumps for a warm-up. Then I'll get your doohickey back. Murray, I realize you volunteered for this one, but are you sure you're ready for that climb? Come on, Bentley! The Murray was born ready! This is what it feels like. Okay, Bob. I know Murray got you ready. Now it's time to get you climbing again. Press. You'll have to navigate around obstacles or break through them. Press the square button to pound the wall. That should bring you any obstacles to run into. Yeah. 
want to wind up with egg on your face. Sorry, just a futuristic
Those are the real pests. Uh, they're just penguins, Bentley. Oh, sure, that's what you say now. But you just wait. It looks like they've torn my gravity and calculator apart. You're gonna have to track down each piece to reassemble it. I don't see what you're complaining about. I'm the one who's just a penguin herder now. Murray, are you still upset about the climbing thing? Come on, it just worked out better that way. Everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, myself included. And trust me, we can't do anything without your might. That's why we're a team. I guess. Well, it looks like I've got some birds to round up. Here, little penguin. I promise I won't squeeze you too hard. That's it, Murray. Don't let him get away. Okay, little guy. Excellent expectoration, Murray. I hope you don't too fishy. Hey, Bentley? Where's Carmelita? I kind of miss her. Oh, she's a rat. You know how independent she is. She's ticked at Sly again, isn't she? Uh, yeah. <laughs>
everybody! Systems, check. Start ammo, check. Tire pressure, check. Bentley, 
How many equipment checks are you going to do? Just being prepared, Sly. A field operative can never be too careful. Or watch too many spy movies, apparently. They're good reference. Those ice caves are a textbook example of a villain's hidden operation. Relax, pal. It's simple. Use the thermovision to find Grizz, tag him with the homing dart, and let him lead us to his lair. Avoiding any lethal obstacles or bloodthirsty guards along the way, of course. Right. Simple. I'll see you back at the hideout. Vision to follow his footprints. I don't see any tracks. Gonna have to track it, Bentley. Looks like you're heading the wrong way, pal. If Grizz came this way, the thermal vision should detect his footprint. Da Vinci, master with a brush. When my art is on the wall, it makes the crowd hush. There he is. Tag him, Bentley. Hold on, Sly. There's something funny about that painting. What happened, Bentley? He was right there. I'm sorry, Sly. It's just this artwork. like switches. I bet I could activate them with my dart gun. Thing. 
That's not it. Try again. Maybe I should try viewing this in a new light. Must be how Grizz moves the eggs back to his mountain base. Ah, whoa, that's a huge egg. Ugh, I always hated eggs. Ugh, I need to get out of the way. Use those gaps in the walls to avoid the eggs. This is like some kind of bad dream. Alert. Nobody goes in or out but the Grizz. I gotta go finish your painting, you dig? Good. Now take these and keep your eyes open. <laughs> Looks like that door is missing something. Yeah, a makeover. No, Sly. I'm sure the gems Grizz gave the guards unlock the door. I'll just have to get them the old-fashioned way. By asking politely? Funny. No, by picking some pockets. I can't tell which guards have them, though. There's another way. How about using thermovision? I think you're right. Wow, this is a first. Okay. Now who's being funny? I better use the thermovision to see which guards have the gems. I can't let these guys see me or I am history. Huh? <laughs> on that door. You won't shake this tail, Grizz. Uh, did you just say something about shaking your tail? Quiet, Sly. I've got a bear to catch. No way I'm going out as egg salad. I'll never eat an omelet again. Hey, 
don't forget, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Ugh, I'd much rather sleep in late. Some art on ice. Gonna dig it up later for a big fat price. The paradox is a stinking dude, and I'm getting real sick of his attitude. It looks like Grizz is planting fake cave paintings. He's working a prehistoric art scam. I get it. He paints them here, then goes back to the present, digs them up, and sells them for a fortune. What a con. Hurry up and tag him before he gets away again. Right. Just to be safe, I'm going to use multiple darts. Three should do the trick. Belly, you need to make sure those darts stick to it. Aim for that rip in his path. Time to put the dart guns in good use. Sorry, the rhyming is contagious. One of these days he's gonna get served. Yeah, the Grizz is gonna crush that little nerd. Yeah. 